In this video, I am going to tell you 10 points which you must keep in mind to successfully clear your PhD admissions interview. Hello everyone, my name is Shekhar, CEO and Managing Director at Biotechnica and today I'm going to tell you the toughest part of CSINET. No, it's not the exam part. But once you've qualified for the exam, you must go to attend the interviews at various institutes across the globe, across the country at least. Now, that day when you have to go out to give the interview, that intense moment combined with the uncertainty of what might happen next leads to a lot of anxiety, lot of dilemmas and a lot of nervousness in the mind. Am I right? Now, sadly, there are no articles or videos on the internet to help you on this topic. Once you have qualified CSINET, you are on your own. So, our experts at Biotechnica decided to come out with this video and we have combined a set of 10 pointers to help you pass through this difficult phase so that next time when you sit for a PhD interview, you ace it. Now, even before I tell you these 10 pointers, you must know something very, very important. You must check on your PhD notifications and scholarships available in various institutes. Familiarize yourself with the current scholarships, admission notifications in your field. Many students I have seen who get CSIN at lecturership fail to check on this and they, then they end up self-funding their PhD. So whenever you apply for a PhD notification, PhD admission notification, then always check for the PhD funding terms and conditions. Now, having said that, now let's get started with 10 points on how to successfully deliver or clear or crack your PhD admissions interview. Number one, start with why. Now, when you attend any interview, they are definitely going to ask you why you want to do this PhD in this particular topic. What is the reason behind it? To answer this question, you have to be thorough with uh, about your PhD uh, research proposal or the statement of purpose. There can also be questions related to your uh, motivation behind doing this PhD, why you want to pursue this, this PhD, what is your motivation? Always be prepared to talk about your research interests in detail. You must also prepare yourself to talk about the prospects of your research work. That's very, very important. Number two, customize your introduction. Now, as soon as you start your interview process, they will ask you, introduce yourself. Now, you need to introduce yourself in a way which is relevant to the context of your PhD topic or maybe your field of interest or field you want to choose. For example, you want to become a molecular biologist. Now, mention the same in your introduction like this. I am aspiring molecular biologist willing to make an impact in the field of and then you mention the topic which you are going to do research on. Number three, do literature review. Now you must go through previous research work in your field. Brush up your, upon your concepts related to your dissertations, projects if any. Now you, we have conducted a separate webinar on this uh, recently how to do re literature review, you can check out the link given in the description. That will certainly help out with this particular pointer. Number four, societal impact. You will get questions related to impact of your research work on the society at large. So you must be ready to answer that, what would be your, the impact of your research project on the society and how it will benefit the society. Number five, supervisor background check. Now always check your potential supervisor or project guides or PhD guides research work. Be ready to answer questions like why you want to work with him or her? 
you must be able to impress your PhD guide. If you want to work with him, remember this is a long term relationship. But long term relationship also starts with first impression. You have to make a long lasting first impression. Then only you will get selected. Number six, get certified, get ahead. Now, just qualifying your CSIR net exam is not enough. You're going to do real research and for that you also must have some wet lab or dry lab experience or you can also do online certifications to get ahead of your competitors, stand out of your competition. So update yourself with current research tools, techniques and trends. That's very important. Now, for your convenience, Biotechnica offers a wide array of self-learning online certification courses. Now, do check out the link given in the description, which I have mentioned there, all the details of all the various fields in which we have online certification. Now, this will help you get noticed and help you get ahead during the interview process. Number seven, believe in yourself. Now, if you cannot believe in yourself, if you cannot invest in yourself, no one else can believe in you. No one, no one will invest in you. So the biggest investment you can make today is hire Mr. Troimp in your mind and fire Mr. Doubter from your mind. Never have self-doubts. You need to reflect self-confidence in every word which you speak in your interview process. That's mantra. Also, do not forget to dress formally, be confident, believe in yourself, and only then, this interview or any interview will be a piece of cake. Number eight, what you will do after PhD. You need to be ready with answers for questions like, what do you plan to do after completing your PhD? Now, this is a question which is not as simple as it looks. If you just go on and blabber something randomly, you will definitely not get through the interview process. You must show a very strong research enthusiasm and pursue and contribute your dream research in a lab where you can implement your intellectuality to do good beyond your PhD. So you have to show that intellectuality, that willingness to pursue your research beyond your PhD. Number nine, stay up to date. Now, update yourself with current work in different institutes related to your research topic. Also, keep a check on various notifications that come out from various institutes across India. The best way to do that is by subscribing to Biotechnica's daily newsletter, popularly known as Biotechnica Times. And you can also download our app, Biotechnica official app. The link is given in the description. This way, you will keep yourself up to date with latest news and opportunities and jobs and admission alerts from various organizations and institutes. Go ahead and do that. Number 10, keep regular questions answers ready or handy. Now be ready to answer some typical questions like, okay, identify your strength and weaknesses, why you have, uh, why have you chosen to study PhD in, at a particular university or why did you pursue your research in this? Why did you do your dissertation in this particular topic? What is the biggest challenge you foresee in your PhD research work? Okay, so these are the things you must be ready with. Also, a bonus tip I can give you today is in case you do not know the answer to any question, politely say, sorry, sir, I uh, do not know. Okay, politely decline. Never ever blabber something aimlessly. That's very, very important. So these were 10 points I gave you just now to help you qualify successfully for your PhD admissions interview. However, as I'm speaking to you, I have 100 plus more points. But I feel this 10 should be sufficient to help you get a good starting point. But I know you have questions. So if you have any questions, specific questions, go ahead, put it in the comment section below and our experts would love to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.